In this video, I will describe how to measure stockpile and how to measure the volume of the stockpile against my original ground survey. The first step is to change my measurement type to a volume boundary. I will name the boundary Pile 1. I am currently in walking mode, so I will hit start. Now I am walking around my stockpile and measuring line points. I am just following the shape of the stockpile here. So I'm um, almost finished measuring the stockpile. So I'll just go ahead and hit stop. All right, now I'll change my measuring type to point to measure a couple of points on the stockpile to determine elevation. The point code I will use is spot level. And I am measuring surface points. And I'll select no for show every time. Once again, I am in walking mode, so I'll just hit start on the bottom right corner. Now I am measuring multiple surface points on the stockpile. I can also measure a break line on my stockpile by changing the measure type to line and selecting break line as a line type. I will name this break line break. And hit accept. Now I will measure the top of my stockpile, which is a break line. Once that is done, I'll hit stop. Now I'll change the measure type back to points and measure a couple more single points around the stockpile, making sure that all of my measured points are evenly distributed. Alright, so what I can do to evenly measure the stockpile is hit the stop button on the bottom right corner so that I can move to another side of the stockpile and measure more points. What I can also do is record additional points by pressing the record button on the bottom right. Right. Now I can click on the settings tab on the right and under map options I can turn on the coverage grid elevation option and I'll make the size of my coverage grid 2 meters and hit accept. This will allow me to check if I have measured enough points around the stockpile for elevation measurements. Different elevations are represented by different shades of blue. I can also use the coverage map as a cut fill map, which color codes areas that are cut, fill, and on gray as red, blue, and green. If I go to Home, Kogo, Review and Edit Data, and select my volume boundary, and select the contour line function, I can view contour lines of my measured stockpile. In the view and edit data, I can also add another break line or delete points.
What I'll do here is select three points and create a break line. And then I'll hit accept. As I add the contour lines, I can see how my changes affected the surface. Now I'm ready to measure the volume of my stockpile by clicking the stockpile button, which is on the top left. I'm using the stockpile option, so SA700 is measuring a volume based on a plane on the bottom of the stockpile. Here is a summary report of my stockpile volume. Here I can add a description of my stockpile. I will call it pile 1. What I can also do is measure the volume of my stockpile against my design, so against my original ground surface that I previously measured. Let's hit accept. Uh, another report uh, will pop up showing total cup volumes and total fill volumes. And I'll also call this uh, pile 1. It is also possible to measure a volume against a certain elevation. So on the top left, I'll change it to measure to enter the elevation. What I can do, instead of entering an elevation, I can select a point on the stockpile and use the point's elevation. Then I'll hit accept. And now I can determine how much dirt I need to add or remove to reach the elevation of that point. Or I can enter in an elevation. Also, I can enter an expansion or shrinkage factor. So if I have an excavation, the material expands, and I'll have an expansion factor, which is dependent on the material. We can compute the volume using this expansion factor. All these calculations can be found in my log file under the Trimble icon menu. So there are the uh, three different volumes that I calculated on the log file. Also, I can save the surface as a design by going to the home icon, ex import export, surface as design. This would be useful for calculating daily progress volumes. So for example, tomorrow I can measure the volume of the stockpile and calculate my new volume against my design that I have measured today. And that concludes how to compute a volume of a stockpile.